This was probably my favourite build last season. Infinite explosions, on demand, with an ability that is refunded immediately, weapon damage boosts and even healing were all key components of the build. Well, I'm super excited to tell you that in Lightfall this build has been taken to the next level and has overcome its one main weakness. We have new solar fragments and a new mod system that really elevate this build. Here we're using it to solo with ease the new Vex operative exotic mission which has such a ridiculous amount of adds. One of the big downsides of the build was that to trigger the chain of ignition explosions it relied on the throwing knife to kill the enemy, which became more difficult in harder content. Well, thanks to our artifact this season we have the most juiced up firebolt grenades that stack so much scorch and we get two of them. So we can now trigger ignitions on demand on those beefier enemies that don't die to a single proximity knife using our firebolts instead. In this updated build we have infinite explosions now possible with both our knife and grenades, new fragments which let you generate fire sprites which provide healing and grenade regeneration. We generate tons of orbs of power which provide even more grenade regeneration and even more healing and we get tons of super energy to boot. In total there are 4 ways to heal yourself which is absolutely insane. Honestly the Caliban 2.0 has better survivability than ever before allowing you to take this build into harder content. Dim link for the build will be in my discord link for which will be in the comments or description below. At the heart of this build is Caliban's hand the hunter exotic gauntlets whereby kills with proximity explosive knife force an ignition which is an extremely powerful explosion that can clear entire rooms of enemies. If you didn't know how ignition works, typically you need to scorch an enemy enough for them to have a hundred stacks of scorch. The good thing about Caliban's is that it completely bypasses that, just a kill with it forces the massive ignition explosion. You don't even need a direct hit with the knife, even a proximity kill with the explosion of the knife triggers the ignition. Thanks to our aspect, knock him down, when we are radiant, which we will be through our fragments, a kill with throwing knife will fully refund our melee. This set Sets up an infinite loop of throwing knife, kill, massive ignition, instant refund of throwing knife and repeats. Let's look at the rest of our solar 3.0 build and how I incorporate the new fragments. We're using gambler's dodge, now this is essential because sometimes you will miss your knife and the gambler's dodge lets you get back your knife instantly. Then I'm using triple jump, proximity explosive knife is the key to this entire build and then for your grenade you want to run firebolt which typically only provides 20 scorch at base but thanks to our artifact perks which I'll go over after they now provide enough scorch to trigger ignitions with just two of them. We already talked about knock em down. For your second aspect I ran on your mark so that we get three fragment slots instead of the one gunpowder gamble provides. The three stacks of reload, weapon handling, on dodging are a nice bonus as well. Ember of Torches is the most important fragment of this build because when you throw your knife it will cause you to become radiant which will then trigger knock em downs refund of said knife upon a kill. Without this fragment the gameplay loop is broken. Radiant is a 25% damage buff in PvE and it lasts for a decent amount of time and most importantly it can stack with other damage buffs. Ember of Mercy is one of the new fragments which makes fire sprites regenerate health for you. Ember of Char causes your ignitions to spread more scorch and chain even more ignitions. Ember of Resolve is the other new fragment which makes your grenades instantly provide a burst of healing on a kill. Honestly this fragment has saved my life so many times you can just yeet a firebolt into a crowd of adds when you're low health. And then Ember of Blistering refunds grenade energy on ignitions which we'll be triggering left right and center. Next we're going to cover our artifact, the key mods here to pick up are authorized mods grenades authorized mod solar which will reduce the energy requirement for these mods on our armor. You definitely want solar surge so fire sprites give you even more armor charge on top. Flare up which will juice up your fire bolts and just damaging enemies with them will create even more fire sprites. And then rain of fire bolts you get two juiced up fire bolt grenades and against stronger enemies you can just throw both of them at once and trigger an instant ignition. You can also use volatile flow and avoid weapon as you'll generate tons of orbs of power but I preferred running an all solar build with a solar weapon with incandescent to stack even more scorch. For our armor mods we have a balance of survivability and mods which increase our grenade recharge. 
you really don't need much recharge for your throwing knife, it is refunded instantly on a kill and you have your gambler's dodge ready as a backup. We have heavy handed firepower to generate orbs of power from our knife and firebolts respectively. Then grenade kickstart gives you back chunks of your grenade energy instantly when you throw a grenade. Sometimes you can chuck two firebolt grenades and you'll have your third firebolt up instantly thanks to this perk. And then on top we run solar siphon on our helmet so our primary can generate orbs of power as well. We run charged up on our chest piece to gain even more armor charge and then the relevant resistance mods. Then on our boots I run one recuperation, one better already and one innovation. The first two mods provide insane healing when you pick up orbs of power and then innovation refunds even more grenade energy. If you're running easier content, you could run triple innovation or even two stacks of solar surge instead for more damage output. On our cloak, I run triple bomber to gain even more grenade energy back when you dodge and then on my helmet, I run one ashes to asset and one hands on to generate tons of super energy from both of our key abilities. For stat distribution, number one priority here for me is 10 resilience so you can get the maximum damage resist but you can get away with 8 or 9 resilience nowadays. So once you hit your desired resilience, then discipline comes in close second and you definitely want this as close to 100 as possible to minimize firebolt cooldown, which will save your ass with grenade kills triggering cure. Then mobility is in third as you can minimize your dodge cooldown and keep your knife up. Then recovery in fourth. Finally, go for intellect and strength in that order. You really don't need strength in this build because of our fragments instantly refunding the knife and then Gambler's Dodge serving as a backup. So there you have it guys, my updated Caliban's Hand build, which is one of the best solar builds I've ever used. Insane ad clearance, huge DPS thanks to Ignitions, and now amazing survivability. This build really has it all. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more PvE and PvP builds as we get deeper into Lightfall. I'm Mr. Ronit, and that's it for today. Peace out guys.